What's up YouTube, it's SabdoStushyG here and in this episode I'll be talking about Rayquaza and Deoxys Legend. This is actually the first episode about a legend, just because legends are so hard to get out. That's why most of them aren't that good in competitive battles, because you have to have two pieces in your hand in order to bring them out. You need a top part and a bottom part and you must have both of them in your hand at the same time, which is pretty hard to pull off and that's why it's a downside of legend cards. So yeah, let's check out this one. This card has an HP of 140, which is pretty low for a legend, considering that your opponent takes two prize cards when it's knocked out, which reminds me of the old EX cards back in the day. This card also has two types, a normal type and a psychic type. This is great because you can go for super effective attacks really quick, because Dragon Pokemon are weak to normal and Psychic Pokemon are usually weak to Psychic. But there's also a downside, because this card has two types and also has two weaknesses. One being Psychic and one being normal, which is pretty bad considering that there's a Buffalo card out there that can KO this card in one blow which is one double Carlos energy. But other than that this card is very good though. It has an awesome Pokebody named Space Virus which states if your opponent's Pokemon is knocked out by damage from an attack of Rayquaza and Deoxys Legend, you may take one more prize card. This is actually a great Pokebody to have because if you look at his attack, we see that he deals 150 damage for 2 fire, 1 lightning and a Carlos energy. And that's pretty good in this format. It's called Ozone Buster and it states discard all fire energies attached to Rayquaza Deoxys Legend. So with this attack you'll be able to take down basically any Pokemon if they aren't using Defender or something to reduce this damage. And maybe if they have a Waylord in their deck they won't be knocked out as well. But yeah, what are the chances of that? I think this card is great to combine with Pokemon Reversal or when the new Emerging Power set is released with Pokemon Catcher. Because with those two cards you can switch your opponent's active Pokemon with one of his bench Pokemon. And you get to choose two. So you can knock out a Pokemon that he has set up or a Pokemon that would cause you trouble during the rest of the battle. Another great card that would fit perfectly in this deck is Ambor from Black and White. If you have this card out together with this legend, you'll be able to attack several times instead of just one. Because Ambor's Poke Power states you can attach as many fire energies to your Pokemon as you like during your turn. And because Rayquaza and Deoxys legend only discard fire energies, it'll be easy to set them up again. You can use cards like Fisherman or Energy Retrieval because those two cards let you put energy cards from your discard pile back into your hand. So yeah, when Rayquaza Deoxys legend uses his attack to knock out your opponent's active Pokemon, you get two prize cards. Then the next Next turn you use a trainer card to get the energies back you had discarded and with Ambor's Poke Power you can set him up again in just one turn which can leave your opponent in a sticky situation because if you can knock out this legend you'll be able to take two more prize cards during your next turn and that's pretty devastating. But there's also another downside to this card and that's his big retreat cost. You need 3 energies to retreat your legend which can be pretty bad if your opponent also uses catcher or pokemon reversal to bring him out when he isn't ready, meaning he doesn't have all the necessary energies yet. So a switch or two in this deck couldn't hurt either because Abor also has a big retreat cost. And with that being said, let's take a look at some more cards that could work really well in this deck. First up is Buffalo from the black and white set. This card is great because its first attack lets you deal 90 damage for just one double Carlos energy. But in order to do this damage, one of your Pokemon must have been knocked out during your opponent's last move. This is a great revenge attack and it'll help you in tight spots because it's a basic Pokemon and it's easy to bring out. Next up is Twins. Just in case you're standing behind in prizes and with this card you can bring out a complete legend card because it states you can search your deck for any two cards if you have more prize cards left than your opponent. This is really great in the beginning of the game to get out your Rayquaza Deoxys legend. Up next we have Magnezone Prime. This is a great card to have because of its poke power. Magnetic Draw. It states once during your turn you may draw cards until you have 6 cards in your hand. This is another great tech card to get your legend out quickly and it also has an awesome attack called Lost Burn. It deals 50 damage times the number of energy cards attached to your Pokemon you're willing to put in the Lost Zone. So this card can also deal heavy damage. And because you have many stage 2 Pokemon, a couple of rare candies should definitely be in this deck. As well as some basic Pokemon like Cleffa or Tyro. These are great because their Pokebody states when they are asleep they can't receive any damage and their attack puts them to sleep so that's just perfect. And they also have free retreat and great attacks that don't need any energies. Clefa's attack is basically the effect of Professor Oak's new theory which lets you shuffle your hand into your deck and then draw 6 cards and then Clefa's asleep. And Tyrogue's attack can deal 30 damage without weakness or resistance and then he's also asleep. This can be great for stalling and preparing yourself for a late game. The only downside to these cards is their weak HP. That's only 30 so they'll probably be knocked out with one blow. But other than that, they're pretty good. And the last card I want to talk about is Reshiram from Black and White again. 
This is also a really good card and it's a fire Pokemon, meaning it can be charged up with Arbor's Poke Power. It deals 120 damage for 2 fires and a Carlos energy, and then you discard 2 fire energies. So again, energy retrieval and Fisherman should definitely be in this deck. And that's it for this week's episode. Hope you enjoyed it and don't hesitate to leave your thoughts, questions and suggestions in the comments section below. This was Sabder's TCG, thanks for watching, till next time. Oh,